Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing the new M2 Mac Mini. This little powerhouse is the latest addition to Apple's lineup, especially to the Mac Mini lineup. And we can't wait to see what it's capable of, so let's get started. Alright, let's get this box open. As you can see, the packaging is sleek and minimalist, as we have come to expect from Apple. So on the Mac Mini box, is the print cover of the top of the Mac Mini M2 and then the side of the box we have the wording Mac Mini printed and then under the packaging are some serial numbers and barcodes and labels indicating that it is designed by Apple in California assembled in China and it is for Malaysia Alright, let's get this box open As you can see the packaging is sleek and minimalist as we have come to expect from Apple So here's the M2 Mac Mini and then there's a black tape at the side to pull out the M2 Mac Mini from the box so here how it is like around the M2 Mac Mini and then here under the Mac Mini there's some more important instructions so here under the box in the Mac Mini we have designed by Apple in California envelope and in the envelope in Apple fashion is the welcome pack for the Mac Mini so in the welcome pack here we have pictures of the hardware and the software so this welcome pack comes in English and Chinese instructions and then we have here some more instruction manuals and the usual Apple sticker. So here we have the power cord to connect to the Mac Mini and to the electricity source. So now we're going to take out the tape at the side of the Mac Mini and under the Mac Mini. In terms of ports, the Mac Mini comes equipped with one power button, one connection for the power, one Ethernet port, two Thunderbolt ports, one HDMI port, two USB-A ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack and then here the back of the Mac Mini closer up so for scale the M2 Mac Mini weighs 2.6 pounds or 1.18 kg and in comparison to my MacBook Pro 2012 the M2 Mac Mini measures 1.41 inches in height by 7.75 inches in width and 7.75 inches in depth or in centimeters they are 3.58 by 19.7 by 19.7 centimeters so now we're going to connect the power to the Mac mini and connect the display to the Mac mini so the monitor I have is a VGA cable so we have to use the HDMI to VGA adapter so I'm going to connect in the adapter to the HDMI port and now we're going to press the power button so on the screen we'll be greeted by hello in various languages so we have like hello, bonjour, ciao, hey and so forth. So we're going to click the arrow button in the middle. In the next screen, we're going to select our language and then click the right arrow. So when you connect your keyboard, there are two types of keyboard you can connect. You can connect with the Bluetooth keyboard or the wired cable keyboard. I had a Bluetooth keyboard but somehow it wasn't compatible. So I managed to connect it with a wired cable keyboard. After the keyboard issue has been settled, in the next screen, you have to select your country or region. So here I am in Malaysia. I'm going to click continue and then reconfirm and check your written and spoken languages and then click continue. If you don't read or speak English, you can customize the language and input source and dictation by clicking the customize settings in the bottom left and then click continue. And this page is for those who have accessibility issues. So we're going to click not now and then the next screen is to select the Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and add the password for your Wi-Fi and connect your Wi-Fi to the Mac Mini. Then in the next screen, you may be prompted to update your software. So you can choose to update the software now or update later. And then the next screen will be on data and privacy. And then the next screen is migration assistant. So if you have information on another Mac or Windows PC, you can migrate the information and data to your this Mac Mini. Or it can be done via Time Machine. And then the next screen is to sign in with your Apple ID. So I'm going to sign in my Apple ID and password and then click continue. So a message with the verification code will be sent to your other device. So key in the 6 digit verification code in your Mac mini. Then the terms and conditions page will pop up. So check I have read and agreed to the cloud terms and conditions and then click agree. Then the next screen you have to create a computer account. So you have to fill in your full name, account name, password and verify your password and put in a hint. And then you can also change your profile icon here as well. Then once you're done with this, click continue. So now Apple is setting up your iCloud account. Then in the next screen, it is about make this your new Mac. 
we have Location Services, Device Analytics, App Analytics, Siri, Screen Time and Appearance. So you can turn on and off any of these features. I'm going to click Continue. Then the next screen will be Keyboard Setup Assistant. So this is to identify your keyboard with the Mac Mini. So follow the instructions on the screen. Then the next screen you can select the keyboard type. If not, click Done. And then now finally we are on the home screen of the Mac Mini. So by default, next to the Finder is the Launchpad and all the other default Apple apps on the M2 Mac Mini. Now let's talk about performance. The M2 Mac Mini is with 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU and 16-core Neural Engine. In terms of memory, there are 3 options, 8GB, 16GB and 24GB memories. So this model that I ordered has been upgraded to the 16GB memory. In terms of storage, there are 4 options, 256GB, 512GB, 1TB and 2TB. So this model that I ordered is with 512GB SSD storage, which is the base version for this M2 Mac Mini. So I understand that for those of you who want to use for heavier usage such as for gaming, editing and heavier processing, there's a way to add more storage. Stay tuned by subscribing to this channel for new video. Then as for the Ethernet, there are two options. One, a gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet. This model that I ordered is with the base gigabit Ethernet. So I'll put the links in the description below for those of you who want to order the Mac Mini. And do note that for every successful sale that is made, I'll receive a small commission or referral for the sale that is done.